Welcome everyone to your first neural network in C++ using the uh, library, the MLPack library. So I will make a C++ file, first neural network. We have our uh, data, we have our test data, which is, uh, one, which is one data point. We have 21 features and the last column is our target. Uh, here we have our train data set, which is a bit longer. It's 7199. So we have 21 features, one label, one target, which can be 3, 2, or 1. So we have a classification problem. Okay, what do we need? We have a um, C++ file. Uh, we will make a machine learning program. It will be a neural network. And we have to include some of the header files which we want to use. So let's say we want, we have the ML pack. Uh, first of all, to load our data, we use the uh, core HPP. Then we have the ML pack. We need methods. Uh, sorry. Yeah, methods. Uh, what we use is an artificial neural network. Then we use the layers and then we have the to create our architecture of the neural network we have the layer hpp file and in the same manner we need an uh, ml pack again methods artificial neural network and now we have the hpp file of a feed forward network hpp Okay, this is all we need for the include files, include header files, uh, then we can use some namespaces. First, I will use the standard library uh, namespace, I will use the armadillo. Uh, what have we have more? Maybe we can use the namespace mlpack, and also I will use the namespace ML pack artificial neural network. Okay. So what I said we have the thyroid data set. Uh, we have 21 sorry 21 features and we have one label uh, which is one, two, three. Okay, and we have what I said, one hundred and ninety-nine. Um, sorry, yeah, seven thousand one hundred and ninety-nine data points. Okay, so now we can start with the main function. We have our integer main, return zero, of course. And what the first thing, every time you make a neural network or a machine learning program, you have to load, loading the data. So in our case, we will use a um, Arma matrix, you see, Armadillo matrix, which will transpose the matrix, the CSV files. Uh, where we have the train data and we want to load this train data or we want to load the train csv file into the train data so we have uh, we have the uh, so we have the uh, thyroid sorry thyroid train dot csv and we want to load this thyroid underscore train csv we want to load that into the train data okay so the same we will do for the, for the test data and the 
tested what I said. We have tested that's one data point. We will use that only for yeah, testing and predicting one value. So we have our test data. Let's see, trust double test and the test we will load into the test data. Okay, so now we have our data already split it into train and test. And now we want to split data into the target and the features. Target label. Okay, so what we will do is to make a train target and we say it's a matrix uh, train data dot row. So we will use the last row of the train data. So we have the train CSV and we want here, we want the last column, which is the target. Because what I said in the armadillo, if we load it, this will be transposed. So then we instead of we using the column, the last column, we will use the last row. Because the matrix is transposed. So here we want the train data and n rows minus one because that is the last row. And then we want the train data. So now we uh, have the uh, train target. And now we want the train data without the target. So we need to delete. So shed row. We need to delete that last row. So we have shed row and then we can call this one. Okay, and this again we have to do exactly the same for the test data. So we let's say we have the test target, so we have the test data, we have the test data, test data. Okay, so the test 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 test. Okay, our data is correct. And now we can build our model. Building the model. What we need is a um, is a neural network. Sorry, we have a feed forward feed forward network with one hidden layer. So we have feed forward neural network. So we call it model and then we will add the layers to it. So first first layer is a connection layer because the ML pack it works with connection layers and activation layers. So we have connection layer one and there we want to connect the in a linear way we want to Sorry. We want to connect the train data dot and rows with the first the hidden layer and the hidden layer will have eight neurons. So we have a connection layer from the input, which is train data and rows, which is 21 features, to the next. Uh, hidden layer which has eight neurons. Correct. So now we want a uh, sorry, not a connection, we want an activation function on that layer. So now we will add, uh, let's add, so now we will add a what can we do, for example. Sigmoid layer activation function. Um, okay, and we will use brackets. Okay, so we have an activation function on that hidden layer. Now, again, we need an activation layer between the hidden layer to the output. So we have again a model, then we, uh, we 
use a linear and we can say we have eight neurons of the hidden layer and the output has three neurons because we have three different labels and again we will uh, have an activation function where we can say we have the model we will add a uh, we have a classification problem so we will use softmax to uh, obtain a probability so uh, finally the label with the highest with the highest number has the highest probability and so you can uh, predict the, the the value the value with the highest probability so here and then we uh, yeah then we have created our feed forward network great isn't it uh, after that we are going to tr the training phase and this is a very simple one or we keep it very simple we just say model dot train train data and train target just that simple now we have trained the model and now we want to the predicting phase we want to do something with this model so we want to predict a certain label one two or three so now we are going to use the test CSV first I want to create a matrix which is the target prediction yeah uh, then I go to predict the model so again we have just model dot predict and then we will use the test data to predict the target prediction just simple predict with the test data we will predict the target prediction okay so uh, finally we have a predicted target in the shape of a new word so we can say predicted target because we want to have one number one two or three and not the probabilities so we have we will get one number therefore we will uh, say we want the index of the maximum value so we have the index actually we have the index index of the maximum value plus one because we, if the index is zero the first number then the label is one uh, I hope you understand so for that we want to index max of the target of the targets prediction yes yeah so we want the maximum index maximum we want the index of the maximum value in the target prediction so for example if the last value in the target prediction has the highest value um, this will generate two because it starts with zero zero one two it sets two but we want then the value of the label three so therefore we add one to it Okay, so now we have uh, done everything we want uh, and we want to say yeah we want to print it out we have a test target which is the real value it's the test target uh, and line and we have the um, target prediction so that is the predicted, sorry, predicted, that is this predicted target. Okay, and the line. Okay, so now we have our full model, and I will start run. So we have loading the data, training data, test data, split it into target labels and features. Building our model with one hidden layer, connection layer, activation layer, the connection. Finally, we have a probability training and predicting with the uh, with the test 
sample. Finally, we want to uh, compare the real value of that test data with the prediction. And hopefully these numbers are the same, like 1 and 1, or 2 and 2, or 3 and 3. So we have classified the correct answer. He's doing something, and what we see is that the test target, so the real value, is 3. And our prediction is also the value 3. So I think we can say uh, it is done, and it has been successfully done. So oh, this was your first simple neural network. Um, for sure, you can make it as complex you want, but this was a beginning, your first neural network. Thank you for watching, and like and subscribe. See you later.